Kathy, we're uh, both, and I know Josh joins us in looking forward to this fourth webinar in our CIOSP4 Capture Strategy series, talking all about joint ventures, CTAs, and partnerships, and trying to provide some clarity around all these various issues and help our clients and friends think through what's the best way to team for these two big upcoming GWACs, SP4 and Polaris. Yeah, it's really important that uh, companies do things now. I mean, they're waiting to get the RFP for COSP4, and then Polaris will be a couple months later. But in reality, if you wait, it's too late. And you can't rely on the old draft RFP and what it said, because it's completely wrong now about teaming, we know, because of all these FAR changes that SBA put in place last November. Yeah, and so we're going to be joined by our good friend, uh, contracts attorney and cybersecurity SME, Josh Duvall. Uh, you're going to have a big session. I'm going to be talking, and we're going to unpack uh, the details behind. Uh, really, we're going to talk about the four different types of federal uh, CTAs, which ones you should look at using, what the implications are, how you can form your teaming agreements, um, things like socioeconomic uh, quals and certifications. Uh, do you have to have them amongst all the partners or just the lead? What about large business? What about small business? Uh, and what about men or protege? Yeah, and I think that the reason why this has become so important is pretty much most of the GWACs that have come out of GSA, mainly GSA, uh, or where the GWACs are, except for this one COSB3 or now four, is they've come out with a million dollar uh, requirement for past performance. The problem is this GWAC has five different levels of past performance, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all associated with dollar figures that if you don't meet them. So it's really companies that say, oh, I can cover all seven areas. And then my response is hmm, at the highest level at 7 million for a small, and I think it's around 30 million for large. And they're like, oh, I can't do that. And I'm like, it's different. You can't, your teaming strategy that you had on other GWACs and federal government is not the same teaming strategy for COS before because NITAC has said, we want to knock people out. So we're going to, the ones that have the highest point scores are who we're going to down select. And they keep throwing out this 9,000 out of 10,000 score, which I think is kind of high, but that's what they're saying. That means you got to prepare to bid at the highest level of revenue on the scoring sheet. You can't go if you're a small business with, you know, your 2 million, 4 million, you know, whatever. It's got to be for a small business at least 7 million in all 10 task areas. Uh, worst case scenario, nine is one has to be done by you. That's right. And so your teaming strategy is going to go a long way toward uh, helping you put together that winning bid. And these are some of the things that we're going to be talking about, along with uh, the templates and uh, proposal accelerators that we have available. We're going to have a great session. Uh, we had well over 200 attendees on our last session, a lot of great Q&A, and we're going to build on that and uh, focus specifically on this most important topic of CTAs and joint ventures. So we look forward to uh, you have it, having you join us. Uh, it's going to be at noon next Wednesday, which is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, and we thought what a great way uh, to spend the holiday uh, preparing, you know, taking that available time to prepare uh, for what is arguably one of the largest upcoming procurements this year. So uh, get your tickets, uh, reserve your seats. Uh, we promise no Zoom problems. We've got all that figured out. Everybody's welcome. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you next week uh, during the noon hour on Wednesday. Yeah, and I promise you we're going to have an update from SBA. And is, and pretty much most of the updates for NITAC are where they are with COS before. So you don't want to miss it. Great. Thanks. See you soon, folks.